So if you bring the wing up by stepping up, oh gosh, oh gosh, we're reaching. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> oh, now I'm in the whip. All right, I'm calling an audible. We didn't even talk about this. Tim's filming right now. This edit is brought to you by BB Talking, and that's this coaching system that I use. You guys can hear me now because I've got this mic inside my life jacket and this is how i communicate with the riders when uh, i'm coaching them whether they're wakeboarding foiling surfing whatever and we also use it in a ton of different things so in this video we're going to talk about how to gain control of the foil so right now i'm on a wing and this is a whole new way to explore energy and and just having fun out on the water it's pretty much my favorite thing to do on the water right now we're at 11 and a half miles an hour i'm on a 75 foot rope what we're going to do is this is going to be part number three in this foil series. The first video is how to set up your foil. So you might want to watch that first. Make sure you're getting this thing put together the right way. Um, and then video number two is how to get up on a foil. And then once you've learned to get up, now let's gain control. And here is the audible that, that we're calling. I've never gone switch on a foil. Never tried. I don't know if I should try to get up switch or turn my feet. That's what I'm gonna try right now. But the reason we're gonna do this is because I want to show you guys what it's like to gain control and hopefully I can doing this. So I'm going to try to spin around. Let's see what happens. All right. First time, whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh my goodness. All right, so here's what I want to do. I'm going to get a lot of speed, so then I'm going to stall out here and that's when I think I'm going to switch my feet around. So here we go. As I start to drift back, I'm stalling. I'm going to turn my feet, whoa. Whoa! Okay, so this is what it's like for people who are learning to foil. I've been foiling for a few years and you forget. It's a whole new feeling. And the advantage that I have is that I already know what it's like to ride the wing. One of the first things that I tell people is, remember, you are riding a wing, not a board. And so I know what it's like to ride a wing. And once that click, it doesn't make sense till you do it. And that's what I'm doing right now is I am really feeling the rhythm of the wing. And so in this video, we're going to learn how to gain control of the wing. And I just did say we are going to learn because right now I'm switched. I've never foiled switch before. Kiteboarders, they go out there and they pop their feet around. Props to them, okay? Maybe one day I'll get there. Because they're riding left before, then they'll change their direction, they go right before. Right now, I've never done this. But here's what I'm doing. The first thing I want to do is I want to learn to gain altitude and then lose that altitude going up and down, okay? And this is a slow pump. We're not going to get into pumping till a little bit later. And pumping, ooh. <laughs> pumping is where you can gain speed on flat water even when you don't have the the push from the wave. Okay, things that I tell people, stack up. You should feel like you're standing on top of the wing where you feel the wing going all the way to the top of your head. A lot of times people are gonna foil like this, and they're gonna be pulling on the rope, trying to adjust things. Stack up, keep the handle still. Here's the difference. The wing is gonna be this up down that you haven't experienced before. And if you wake surf, it's opposite. When you want to speed up wake surfing, you get on your front foot. If I do that, the wing dies. When it does that, that mass goes in the water. That actually slows down the whole, the whole setup. And so if you bring the wing up by stepping on, oh gosh, oh gosh, we're reaching. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> oh, now I'm in the whip. <laughs> so if you bring it up, that's where you have less mass in the water. And when we get into the wave, that's where more energy is. When you're sitting in the boat, you actually want to look out. Oh, I got to stand up. When you're sitting in the boat, look and see how big the swell is. You probably haven't looked at it too much before. Because when we're surfing, you're really looking up in the front part of the wave. But there is a ton of energy coming all the way out to me. I wouldn't say a ton out here, but there is some energy out here. And so while you're learning to fly, stay away from that. So what I'm doing here is I'm learning to bring the wing up and bring it down. People tend to stare down at the wing. You can look down to see when the wing gets close to the surface. 
But what you really want to be doing is looking where you're going. And when you go through waves like this, it's awesome because the wing just pierces straight through these things. I can feel the energy a little bit, but if I bring it down below them, it's like duck diving under the waves when you're at the beach. I feel a little pulse and that's about it. So I'm gonna learn a couple different axes. I wanna learn my up down, okay? Keeping the handle still to bring it up. All I gotta do is put a little weight on that back foot, the wing will climb. Front foot, the wing will die. So learn what that feels like. The other thing is your left to right. This is crazy, I'm sweating, my legs are burning. So you wanna learn your left to right bank and you wanna remember that it's not, woo, it's not turning the board. I'm not turning it. What I'm doing is I'm banking this. So think of like a plane or a fighter jet. When they wanna turn, they actually bank. So I'm banking it, right? Whoa, I'm banking it left. This is not good, this is not good. And we're back. All right, so I am learning this with you guys and, I, and uh, part of me wants to just go do it left foot forward. But the reason this is good for me to learn is that I can really start to process those things I had to learn when I first started foiling. Uh, like my left leg is burning, which means I need to move weight to the tail. So I'm gonna shift both feet back a little bit. That's gonna allow my weight to distribute a little bit more evenly. So if either leg is burning, move weight in that direction. Meaning shift your feet just a little bit if you can. So right now the setup I'm on is the Hyperlite shuttle, that's the board, and the wing is the Booster 1300. This is a good setup because it's pretty mellow, slow, and stable. Eventually, you might wanna get on a wing that's a little bit more aggressive, but this is one of the best wings I've found when people are learning. So I'm gonna start working on that left to right, up, down, and really working on being in control so that when I feel this wing go in a direction, I'm in control of it. And if all of a sudden I'm like, ooh, I don't wanna be over there because that's gonna make me speed up, I wanna get away. Because the next step is gonna be getting into the push or what I call the energy. That's what is so amazing on this thing is when you start exploring and seeing energy, you'll see the water in a whole different way because foiling opens up the whole lake, the whole waterway into this new playground. So a few things you wanna remember, keep the handle still. Stay stacked up, slow movement, up and down with your wings. Stay away from the wave. Getting into the wave, that's gonna be on our next video. So make sure you guys tune in, go check that thing out. So if you haven't tried foiling, give it a shot. Ooh, we can make it through this. And so yes, I just rode switch. I've never foiled switch before today. I've never even tried and I thought, I'm gonna learn to do this so I can really process everything that I am telling you guys to do. I could relax my arm, that is unnecessary. My arm is pulling. <laughs> well, hope you guys have enjoyed this and you've learned something, how to step up your foil game. And always appreciate if you guys like and share, that makes a big difference. If you guys don't subscribe, you can maybe consider doing that. You could also hit the notification bell. You know when videos are going live. If you have any questions or comments about this or whatever, anything water sports, I'll do my best to help you guys out. Maybe get that first comment. Kenny Holmgreen, he's been on point. Oh, and if you guys want to go to SeanMurray.com, I got some new merch. You guys can check that stuff out. No matter what you're doing, always enjoy your ride. Peace.